Memorial Cooking Innovations. Starring Tim Scallon. With Chef Manny Marini. Sponsored in part by Brookshire Brothers. On Memorial Cooking Innovation, Chef Manny and I explore the world of fine dining and healthy eating. But what we eat is only part of a healthy lifestyle. Regular activity is also important, and East Texas offers us many great outdoor activities for fun, like camping and fishing, for example. Today, we're at Castles Boykin Park, located on Lake Sam Rayburn, just 35 minutes from Lufkin. The park is perched on a scenic bluff overlooking the lake. They have camping, picnic facilities, lake access with ample trailer parking, and a very nice pavilion suitable for weddings. So Chef Manny and I decided to take Memorial Cooking Innovations with us on our camping adventure. So what does a chef and a dietitian fix to eat on a camp out? Well, come on, let's see. Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian. And I'm Manuel Marini, executive chef. Chef Manny, here we are at Castle Boykins Park. It's beautiful weather, and we're outdoors. Oh man, in the nature. Yeah, great way to live a healthy lifestyle. Let's bring some healthy food into it. Why not? Okay, what do you want to cook this, this time? Well, let me mention one thing. We're going to actually do some vegetable kebabs. And mm. a, lot of, a lot of times when people go out camping, yeah. they don't think about vegetables. They're thinking vegetables. convenience. Yeah, yeah a yeah. bag of potato chips, this, yeah. that, and the other. But bring them. It's easy. You know, the way we packed it. We, we prep them before we get out of the house. Clean them really good. That's mm -hmm. all you have to do. Yep. And then during the dead time, during the day, just start yep. cutting them. And that's what we're going to do. Yep. We're going to kind of make it easy, make it fun. And it won't take us that long to do it. Okay. So vegetable skewers. Okay. Vegetable skewers. And we're going to use a nice marinade. We're going to marinate them in a nice red wine vinegar. Ooh, okay. That'll okay. be nice. Yes. Then we're going to do a uh, scallop potatoes. All right. Okay. okay. Something different to campgrounds. All right. In a skillet. In a skillet. Okay. So. That'll be good. And then we're going to do a uh, saute fish. Okay. Not a deep fried fish, but we're going to slightly fried. a pan fried. Pan fried. So uh, whatever you catch, we'll cook. Okay, so whatever you catch, that's what you cook when exactly. you go camping. So we're going to start off. We're going to start off with the vegetables, okay? Okay, okay what you want? First of all, wait, let's start with the marinade. Okay. Because we want to fix, fix the marinade first because once we fix the skewers, we're going to marinate them yeah. and let them sit for just a few minutes. It won't take that long. Okay. Ingredients are, you got the red wine vinegar there. Yep. And when you go to the store, you're going to find a lot of red wine vinegars. You know, basically it's just red wine. Yep. Okay, in the vinegar stage. So, there are some very expensive ones, there are some cheaper ones. I chose, there's a French, you know, when we went to the store, there were yep. some French ones, there are some Italian ones, there's an American ones. We got just the regular one, okay? Re and nice and basically, vinegar. this is a vinaigrette, just a regular salad dressing. Just a regular uh, salad dressing. We, uh, you know, we we did we've done a show on sauces and dressings, and uh, uh, this is a salad dressing, but you're going to use it as a as marinade. a marinade, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, it's pretty simple. Then we got a little bit of garlic. All right, some fresh garlic. I got the spoon right here because we're going to okay. stir it down with the. And garlic is always good, you know that. Oh, yeah. Gotta, gotta have garlic. Want okay. some parsley in there? Yeah, a, l a little bit of parsley. You know, my parsley in my herb garden is just doing great right now. I had to cut the, the uh, seed uh, tops off so it doesn't go to seed. Beautiful. I got some basil right here. Okay. Let me get this basil. I chopped yep. it earlier, okay? Yeah. So that was some prep you did before. I mean, s simple. Bring the basil, but basil is always good to chop it. Yeah. If you're going away somewhere and just take it with you. Yep. Okay, keep it nice and refrigerated. Okay. All right. How about a little crushed red pepper? Because we need a little spice a to little it. A little bit of zip. Yeah. Goes good. Yeah. A little bit goes a long way. And then we have a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're going to add a pinch of salt. Just okay? a pinch a of pinch. salt. Just a pinch. Okay. All right. Brings out the flavor. Brings out the flavor. Okay. We don't need much, okay? All right, we're going to let it sit for just a few minutes, okay? Okay. So, it can engage in all its flavors. I'm going to put that right there, okay, Tim? All right. I'm going to bring you some vegetables. All right. So, 
we're going to do the vegetables. Now, there's two ways of doing so, okay? I am going to cut a wheel. Now, since you're going to do these uh, and put them on skewers, you're thinking about that as you cut them. So you're, exactly. you're thinking the sizes that you want. Yeah, and, and you want them, you what want is it, about a half inch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And about you want, a half inch. And so you want everything about the same size so that it they cooks, cooks evenly. evenly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now, I got some really nice silver, they're called silver dollar mushrooms. Okay. All right, you got them over there? Okay, beautiful. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. You can get the yeah. button mushrooms where they're a little smaller. Yeah. You can cut these in half if you like. I'll okay. take the onion. Okay. I'm going to cut the onion. I like onions. Grilled oh, yeah. onions are always good. Oh, wonderful. But you don't have to put them there. They bring so much flavor to the dish. So the onions, we can cut them in, let's say, quarters. Okay. Cut them in half, and then we'll cut them in quarters. But we want to make sure that we get onions, so that, there you go. Good. Okay. okay. We're going to set this to so the you've side. You've got everything lining up. What I you got want? a little pepper? red We need some color. Yes. And also some good vitamin. Yep, yep. All right, while we're out here in the sun, enjoying the nature. Yep. Let me put that there. I'm just going to grab I a notice how you're cutting that pepper on the side. Straight, straight up. Mm -hmm. Then we want big chunks. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. It's just so great to be outside. I got some green peppers too. Yeah, so right down the side, and that way you miss the seeds. But as it's you're also the flat side way. here, you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, when we go to the store, we can buy the skewers. I got some metal ones. You yep. can also do the, pa the uh, uh, bamboo, ones. bamboo ones. Yeah. yeah. When you do the bamboo and you're going to grill them or anything that you do, wet them first. Soak, soak them, them in water. Yeah. yeah. And the reason for that, you could soak they won't them in, burn as fast. You could soak them in some lighter fluid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll give Might not be one. a good idea. <laughs> don't try that at home. Yeah, don't try that. <laughs> so I got some metal ones. Okay, okay. Tim? Okay. So guess right. what? So this is gonna be your job. No. We're gonna go ahead and you here. You're gonna you let grab, a dietitian do this? Yeah, why not? We're okay. gonna start off with the pepper. I wanted to start with you a mushroom. Can do, you can uh, you can start with the mushrooms. Okay. All right. All right. Just make it fun. This so, is where the if you're camping with the kids and everything, enjoy you can let it. them do one. Exactly. Okay. Just be careful because they do poke you. Yeah. All right. So we want an onion. I want an onion on each one of these. Okay. But see, with me, I can do... And see, you're doing it like that. Okay. All right. I got you. All right. I've done these so many times that I can do actually three at a time, Tim. Yeah. And I don't want to poke you. So be careful reaching over. I mean, we got to think of safety yeah. as well. That's right. But it is fun when you got everybody involved in it. And you know, Manny, I'm glad you brought up safety because when you're camping, you want to think food safety. Uh, you know, some basic food safety tips, a, what you another, need. Uh, another mushroom? mushrooms? Yes. Yep. I need two more. Okay. Food safety tips would be, uh, well, first of all, uh, you want to keep your food out of what we call the danger zone. And this is, the danger zone is where bacteria grow the best, between 40 degrees and 140. And so that means serving the food and uh, storing the food outside of those temperatures so that it's safe. So you're keeping cold foods cold, hot, hot food foods hot. hot. Okay. Also, of course, washing everything good, wash, keeping your hands, having the, some of the uh, sanitizer handy is a good uh, camp list item. And so always thinking food safety. Uh, if you're going to pack meats uh, in the cooler, pack them in a Ziploc bag, seal them That's good. That's really good. Yeah, seal them good so that the, the raw juices can't uh, contaminate the uh, ice in your cooler. And so these are just some basic camping food safety tips. Tim, I'm done. And I'm still doing the one that I did. That's why you're a chef and I'm a dietitian, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'll just put the rest of this on. I, I need one more mushroom. Go for it. All right. So yours is a double mushroom. Yeah, I need to move mine down a little bit. Kebab. These sure these sure turn out pretty, don't they? They do. Look at that. Such beautiful color. And you know you can use any vegetables for this. We, you know, we picked vegetables that uh, would add color to the plate. Is what we did. So, all right, now, Chef Manny, how are we going to get uh, the marinade on the vegetables? Well, here's the trick. You always have a nice little roasting aluminum roasting okay, pan. Okay, that's handy. Let me okay. put the wind is blowing a little bit. Let me put that on there. Wait. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay them here. Yeah. And you're going to drizzle it on top. Okay. 
Remember, yours has got double mushrooms. Okay. Okay, let me put them right here if you don't mind, Tim. And okay. go ahead and drizzle them. Okay. We're gonna let them sit for a few minutes. Now, Tim, that we got our kebabs marinating, yeah. let's do the potatoes. Okay. Beautiful. These are beautiful potatoes. They are. Did you know that there are hundreds of varieties of different potatoes? And in this recipe, we talked about this. You could use red potatoes. Uh, but now, why did you choose this particular potato? These are the gold potato, the golden potatoes, Yukon the Yukon gold. Golds. Yeah. My thing was that I like these potatoes. They're kind of like a little sweeter taste okay. to it, but yet they cook a little faster than your regular Idaho, your regular russet potatoes, mm -hmm. your B-reds. Yeah. Um, There's so many potatoes. There's purple potatoes, red yeah. potatoes. You name them. I mean, who knows how many there are out there. Yeah. So what I want to do, because we're going to do this, Again, try to make Look it. Look how I, I have to point this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my fingers down here. Look how yellow these potatoes are. They're you know, we, when when you cook these, you could uh, they almost look like they're buttered. They're so yellow. It's they're, got they're, a beautiful color. They're wonderful. To it. So what you could do is like again, flat side. Okay. And then you're gonna cut them and try to try to cut them to where they're again they're all the same size because we're gonna cook them. We're gonna actually saute them, okay? So same, same thickness. Same thickness, okay? okay. So all right. again, one side, stand them up. Okay. Whatever you like, if you think you can do uh, uh, scallop wise. I mean, these are just beautiful, just the way they are. And the term scallop potatoes just means thinly sliced. So you know, a lot of a lot of Americans think that scallop potatoes means cheese or cream sauce in a potato dish. Well, that really we're, refers to the cut of the potato. And that's the style of the potato that we're going to do. You we're going to do, do an outside yeah. style. And right? you could do anything scallop potatoes. All right. So we're going to start off with a little bit of butter. Okay. And you know, in this case, this can be butter. It can be margarine. It could be uh, margarine. Yeah, exactly. That's a. Uh, and you know, that's a debate these days. What's healthier, butter or margarine? Uh, they're both saturated fat. You know, if we use too much of them, uh, they both clog our blood vessels. So, you know, uh, you use your preference on that. Well, and the thing about this is that we have to kind of limit what we take. So, yeah, that's right. Normally, a recipe would call for butter, half, cream. A heavy cream, yep. so much fat, and you keep adding more and more and more. Yep. But the, the way we do it is mm -hmm. that we're going to cut half to kind of even it yeah, out so yeah. that it's a little healthier wise. So you're going to use a smaller amount of margarine. A small amount of margarine, but yet we're going to use half and half fat-free. Yeah, so, so and, and this is a product you've seen us use before, the fat-free half and half. Uh, uh, you can get this at Brookshire Brothers. Uh, Brookshire's uh, is one of our proud sponsors of Memorial Cooking Innovations. And uh, fat-free half and half, has all of the flavor and creaminess of regular half and half without the cholesterol, without the saturated fat. So it basically, it gives us back white sauces in healthy cooking. Exactly. So we can actually enjoy a traditional mm -hmm. cuisine a little healthier. Yeah. Okay, Tim. Nice and sizzling. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip them. Nice golden okay. brown. Huh? Yeah. What do you think about that? Beautiful, beautiful. You know, uh, people tend to think of potatoes as not a healthy food, but actually uh, one medium-sized potato, like a potato this size, has almost half of our daily value of vitamin C in it. With the skin, it has two grams of fiber, which is equivalent to a slice of bread. Uh, it has 600 plus milligrams of potassium, and of course, you know, uh, potassium lowers our blood pressure, uh, plus uh, nine other vitamins and minerals. So, so Potatoes are actually a very good food. It just depends on how we cook them. We don't want to deep fry them, no. for example. No. And so what do you? So what I'm, do you? I'm gonna add the onions now. Uh huh. Because I, what I want to do is I want to get my, my potatoes going, and I know they're going because of the golden brown. Now I'm surprised you didn't add, do the onions first, like we always do. But this is a different this, dish. This is the version that I like. It's because we're gonna actually mix it together. We're gonna let this because the potato takes. It takes a you want to get the potato cooked more, and, exactly. and then you're going to build your sauce around the onions and exactly. let them cook into the sauce. So and that's, and okay. that's what I want to do, okay? Okay, all right. And as this cooks a little bit, we're going to add, actually we're going to add the garlic, okay. all right? Here you go. Thank you very much. And yeah. I've got a spoon right here. We're going to add a little bit of garlic. Okay. 
You're building a lot of flavor into this pan here. And all this goes into the same skillet that you're right here camping with. You're, in a little bit, when you get everything in there, you're going to want to cover that. You can use a lid or you could use foil. It doesn't matter. Foil, but, yeah. but basically, you're just going to cover it to finish cooking, cooking everything. Exactly. Huh? So once we get the onions cooked up a little bit longer, mm -hmm. all right, we're going to add a pinch of pepper. It's smelling really good. It is. Need some pepper? Okay. A pinch of pepper. Pepper and, is good for you. And you've got a surprise ingredient in this dish. When we were developing this recipe, uh, I, and I'm not going to say what it is. I'm going to let you tell us. But but uh, but I was surprised to see you use this ingredient. Now, you're not ready for the half and half yet. No, just give me a few more minutes. Okay. We're going to let it sweat. You never I want rush, the garlic. You never rush an artist. Okay. So we're going to pour some fat-free half and half. All right. So you're developing your cream sauce, basically. Cream sauce, exactly. Right. Now, the secret ingredient to this was we haven't do, added any do salt I, yet. Do, now, should I do a drum roll for this? No, we're It's good not that big. Okay. No, it's right. not that okay. big. Okay. But <laughs> this not only gives us the sodium, yeah. the flavor, yeah. but the thickness that we want. Okay, and what is the secret ingredient? Parmesan cheese. Okay, so, so this... So, so you're going to use Parmesan as a thickener. a thickener, not a lot. Now remember, you, you did mention Parmesan's a source of sodium, so it doesn't take a lot. But, but it doesn't it's, take a lot, but what it does, it gives it the flavor, the sodium, mm -hmm. and the thickness that we want. It's a good concentrated flavor, and so that's why you don't have to use too much. So now what we're going to do is, look, beautiful, mm -hmm. we're just going to let it sit, mm -hmm. lo lower you're, the heat, yep. and then we're reduce going to go, it. yeah, we're going to reduce it down. And then while that's cooking, we're going to go grill these kebabs. Okay. And while you're grilling the kebabs, I'll do the fish. How's that? Okay. I'll clean off the fish. Sounds good. All right. How's so, your pit? Well, let's look and see. Let me lift it. Let me okay. I'll take care of that. Oh, oh they're perfect. Good, good, yeah. good, good. All right. These are beautiful, Manny. You did a good job, Tim. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah, you did a great job. Okay, so you got a nice little uh, white perch there, so. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go straight from the backbone. Okay. Work my way in. Take your time. And you're gonna end up with a nice thin filet there. And that's what we want. Yeah. And you know, this is what people enjoy mm -hmm. eating. And, and that thin filet, there's, we're, we're going to talk about that when we're cooking in a, in a little bit. The bones right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you always ask, how do you clean a fish? People yeah. tear yeah. it up, yeah. kind of lose. Yeah. Because you didn't do what I thought. You didn't, I thought you were going to like cut the head off, cut the tail off, but go ahead. This is the way I do it. Yeah. Was yeah. The yeah. backbone is right here. So what I want to do is I want to get my knife right on the bone and just guide myself right with right. the bone. Okay. The bone will do the, everything for you. Okay. Once you put your hand on there, okay, and then you slide your, the bone will guide you no matter where you go. This one's really actually a good size, huh? This is a beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is my first time going freshwater fishing. Oh, really? You know, I'm a saltwater yeah, fisherman. Yeah, yeah. So this is this was fun. Okay. Now we got some two nice ones. All right. Now we're back. You just flipped your vegetables, right? Yep. All right, yep. excellent. Just turned them. The potatoes. Ooh, ah, very nice. See how it reduced and thickened up? Yes. They're gorgeous. I am going to put these to the side, all right? All right. So I am going to put them here to the side for a minute, then we'll yep. pull them out. Now let's get ready for the fish. Okay. You're going to have room on that stove for both of those? Yeah, pans? well, I'm going to put them in the back in just a minute. Okay. 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 So okay. What, we, what I want to do is let's do the egg wash. Okay. Something simple. I got a now, little egg. Now, while you're doing this, I, I have to say, I thought that we were doing, okay, we're doing pan-fried white perch, but we're not supposed to be eating fried food when on a healthy diet. But it's how you fry it. That's right. You That's know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Deep frying it absorbs all that oil. So there's a difference. There's there pan-frying different... and there's deep frying. Okay, okay. So, so, all right, I just had to I get that. I got me a nice little egg. All right. Now. Are we really all going to bring this with us everywhere? Do you take this with you everywhere? I to... take one of those everywhere I go. Okay. Well, almost everywhere. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so if we don't have a whisk, that's yes. okay. 
Use a fork or use a spoon and whip it up, okay? But you but had me with me, you got a chef, so you so, got a whisk. Yeah, so we got one, all right, Tim? Okay. I got a little bit of eggs. Now, here's the deal. Fried eggs, you know how they bubbled, aired up, not fluffy? Okay. Add a little bit of water, okay. all right? Breaks the surface tension Breaks it, Yeah, bit. so that's okay. what I want to do, okay? Okay. Just a little bit of water. Or you could use milk, huh? You can use milk, definitely. Okay. You got milk out there? All right, we're going to put that to the side. Okay. I'm going to put that to the side. Now, let me get this little guy right here. So you're gonna, you've got an egg wash, and then you're going to create a dry... Uh, dry. So we got a little bit of flour. Okay. Okay. I know this is a big thing, but we brought yeah. plenty of these. Yeah. They're not that expensive. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of parsley. Okay. All right. Now, there's another way of doing this. We were talking about this earlier, uh, earlier today. today. Yeah. But let me, let's do this one first. We're going to okay. add a little bit. Of, we're going to season this, the flour with a little bit of pepper. You're doing this the way And our, a pinch, Tim. A pinch, a of, pinch salt. of salt. And you're doing this the way here in East Texas our grandmother would have done it, mixing all the dry ingredients, and you've got your, your wet ingredients. But I want you to explain for our viewers the different way to... to uh, ha and A different way? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me pull this out. Okay. And what I am going to do is I'm a, while we talk about this, I am going to switch you pans. You start heating How's that? the pan. Okay. All right? All right. Now, what I would have done, I mean, we wrote this recipe. We talked yeah. about it, but we want to make people comfortable. Yeah. I would have put all the ingredients in here in the in egg. In the egg. The just reason just for the that, flour over here. Just the flour. So you alone. want flour and, and seasonings in the egg. Now in tell the me egg. why. Only because we're going to wash the egg. It's going to absorb yeah. all of it. The flour is just going to coat the outside of it. Okay. If it does flake off, you're going to lose some of the flavor. Yeah. Right? Make sense? Yeah. So in other words, you're sealing the flavor in, in. by putting the seasonings in the egg. Yeah. And, okay. and you know. That just, makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. we can they can catch it. If they're watching the show, they can catch it and say, oh, you know, that makes sense. Now, But, it, you know, if you want to keep up with traditional, this is good, too. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between pan frying and deep frying because there's, there's uh, the thing that makes pan frying healthy is the kind of oil that you use and the amount. We're going to use a healthy fat olive oil and pan frying uses just a very small amount of oil uh, whereas deep frying you're immersing the food in hot fat and the, the fat is soaking into the inside of the food. So when Makes we sense. eat uh, french fries or fried chicken or mm -hmm. potato chips we're eating deep fried foods and we're getting a lot of oil, cooking oil, when we eat those foods. And in fact, when we eat those foods out, uh, a lot of times we're getting some trans fat too, which is as bad as saturated fat, clogs our blood vessels. I mean, the French fries are good. Well, they taste but wonderful. Know, but, but you know what? We can still do it the way we're going to do the fish. Well. Because if you cut your own potatoes, yes. you did your own French fries, yep. and you fried them in very little oil, yep. and just flipped them over, you know Finish what I mean? Them Finish in them in the oven. In the oven. You're yep. done. You got some really nice fries. Well, or and, baked I'm, fries. and I'm glad you said that because, you know, uh, it, it wasn't too long ago that we did a chicken fried steak. Okay, you remember we did yeah. the healthy oh, chicken fried steak? Oh, definitely. It was a good hit. And, and that chicken fried steak, it was a little thicker cut of meat than these are. These are thin. Whereas, if, if so, on these, because they're so thin, you're going to be able to do the, uh, cook those, pan fry them, and not have to finish them in the oven. Right. If it was a thicker cut, you do like yeah. that chicken fried steak. Exactly. Same initial, pan fry, finish it in the Fridge oven. Or, uh, or if you're doing a chicken, the same way. Okay. Butterfly it, yep. thin cut, that way you can saute it real quick, reach the temperature, make sure it's cooked all the way, you're done. Okay. You don't okay. have to finish it in the oven. Okay. If it's a, chick, a, a thick piece of chicken breast or something like that, then you do have to finish, finish it, in the, it in the oven. Okay. Okay, so. This uh, is working awesome. This is what everyone needs when you're camping. So we're going to add a little bit of olive oil, okay, Tim? Yeah, yeah. So the difference in pan frying and deep frying is how much oil you use, not as much with pan frying, and you're using a healthy fat. And then you're going to shake, shake, not you, Tim. You, you want me to shake? No, no, not you. No. Oh, not me. We're you just going to shake the excess Shake the extra flour. batter off. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. and that's an important step because the more batter you have on the food item, the more, it, more fat is absorbed. There's another important uh, step about uh, pan frying, and that is you want your oil hot enough that when you put the fish in it, it sizzles, but not too hot that it burns, it burns. before it cooks the middle. And how do you know that? If your oil is smoking or when you first drop it and mm -hmm. smokes up, that's a little too it's hot. It's too hot. 
So our, and could, that's what we're doing right now. We're just slowly, slowly frying it. So you could test the oil perhaps by uh, putting maybe some chopped onion in it. I thought maybe I could stick your finger in it. Well, that would work too, but I like <laughs> the chopped onion idea better. <laughs> anyway, we got it going. See, it's sizzling yes. right now. Yep. So yep. it's perfect. But the, the best way to do it, and I'm, let me flip it over real quick, is look at the thickest part of the fish mm -hmm. and just put your hand in there. And if it flakes off, you're ready to go. Okay. Remember, the thickest part. Because you know yeah. the yeah. ends are really done. They're going to cook first. So yeah. you want the middle part of it okay. really on the fish, okay? And so, and so really this is a practice thing. The, the more you cook fish, the better you get at it, huh? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I okay. mean, that's, that's just one of those things, so. But we're almost done. How's your uh, uh, skewers over I'll, there? I'll go check them. Go for it. Manny, these hey. kebabs look great, man. Oh, man, we're ready. All right. All right, check this out. I got my plate. Okay. Right? I got my fish. Yeah. Look at that. Nice that golden brown. Beautiful. Okay. Look at that. Nice. Gorgeous. Put it right here. All right, if you don't mind getting me one of those kebabs, do yeah. we want to take them out? Yeah, let's take them out of the kebabs. Yep. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them in this pan here. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, that looks so good. You know, it's one thing to be out in nature like this and enjoy it, but when you've got food like this to go with it, whoa. All right, now, Chef Manny, I'm going to let you, uh, because you're always so artistic in how you arrange the food on the plate. And they don't teach dietitians that. But let me tell you, this is the way to go. Make sure you get every vegetable. They're all good, especially when they're grilled, too. You know what I mean? One of the good things about uh, learning to eat healthy is developing your palate. You're developing your palate to enjoy... First of all, you back off on how much salt to use so that you can taste all the flavors. But also, fine dining is more, is not just about flavor. It's also about uh, color, for example. Look at the beauty of this plate. It's also about textures. There's a lot of different textures in this food. Uh, you know, last time we talked about sauces and dressings, and we talked about how uh, you use small amount of dressing on your salad so that you don't cover up the flavors or the crunch of the salad. Exactly. And so Memorial Cooking Innovations is teaching us about uh, learning to appreciate the dining experience, you know? Yeah, and I have to enjoy this because yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, how is it? Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hot too, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Manny, look at this. It's you awesome. You see that view out there? Oh, it's beautiful. Here we are, we're camping out at Castle Boykins. We've had a good meal. We got a good fire going. You, <laughs> you really cooked us a good meal, man. That was good, wasn't it? Was it really good. Really enjoyed that. You got to get out here and enjoy Castle Boykins Park. It's just a beautiful. Or just place. go out, go out and enjoy anywhere any in park. East Texas. Anywhere, right. anywhere. Just get, have get fun some, with it too. Get some hiking in. Eat some good food. Uh, good healthy. Good healthy food. There you go. That's right. Well, we'd like to thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we definitely want to thank the city of Lufkin. You know, they distribute and produce Memorial Cooking Innovations. Uh, we'd like to thank our uh, Brookshire Brothers, who, who supports the program. Uh, we want to thank uh, Sodexo for Chef Manny Marini. And we want to thank the H.C. Polk Education Center. You know, they're working with people who have diabetes, and they're working to give back control uh, to people over their blood sugar. If we can control blood sugar, we can uh, virtually eliminate all of the health problems associated with diabetes. And of course, we want to thank you, our viewers, for watching Memorial Cooking oh, Innovations. You know, keep sending those emails. We enjoy that. That's right. You bet. And and you know, with Memorial Cooking Innovations, we're changing the world one, one bite, bite at, at a time. time.